All right, it's August 3rd right now. It's been just over three months planting this bed, intensive Moringa bed from seed. So it's just been slightly over three months and everything, the storm kind of, kind of took them over a little bit. Now they're starting to grow back up straight, but I need to harvest this. So the cool thing about an intensive bed, and you can actually translate this to a farm. So one of my friends, Tony, who took the PDC with me and is also a, a, a certified Moringa grower, he just got, I think it's an acre up in Yuma and he's gonna do a Moringa farm up there. So intensive planting is great in the desert because you can get a harvest from seed in a little over three months. You go from seed and then you can harvest the whole field and then you can grow it again. Now, if you have a whole acre full of this, 2.4 acres of Moringa can grow 1 million seeds in 2.4 acres. And you could literally harvest every month for about nine to 10 months in Arizona. So if you really wanted to be a Moringa producer, intensive planting in rows with using a tractor to, to cut it all down and harvest the stems and then strip them. There's many ways to do this commercially too, but I want to show you this process because I'll bet you I'll get a couple pounds easy of Moringa powder from this first harvest. And then I'll get a second harvest right before winter. And if you're growing in a very cold area, you could still get one harvest every year as an annual and it'll be a decent amount of powder. So we're going to see how much powder I get from all this. But what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to trim this all the way down. I'm going to keep all the, I'm going to strip all the leaves into a bucket and we're going to dry those leaves and we're going to see how much powder we get out of three months from seed on about 154 seeds, I believe. First step is me getting a huge bucket. I use it to store my rock dust and my soil and uh, worm castings, all the open bags. So I just pulled all that out of there and now it's just good garden stuff in there. But I still don't want to like put it on my edible tree. So I'm going to use my hose right there and I'm going to wash this out first. And once I wash it out, we can start chopping down the moringas. Really, really good stuff in there to throw in a tree well. I'm just going to be using this to store the moringa as I cut it. So I just don't want it to be too dirty in there. It's pretty good. I'm just dump this right into the guava. Okay, hey, what's up everyone? So it's been 104 days since planting these moringas from seed. This is the intensive bed and you can see now it's, it's well above me. I don't even know if you're getting that whole shot there of how tall these actually are. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take my pruners here and I'm gonna chop this bed down and I'm gonna get the first harvest of the year out of this intensive bed. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I wanna, I wanna make this clear. If you want to grow intensive moringas, you can plant up to 1 million moringas in 2.4 acres. It's intensive planting. This is mocking that on a very, very small scale on a, uh, a nine by five square foot bed. Um, so once we chop this down, we're gonna get a real accurate count of how many moringas uh, grew in here, but if you grow moringas in rows on a big farm, you can do that. And then if you put a million moringas on 2.4 acres, which is one hectare of land in rows, you, you know, from seed, in the first three months, you'll be able to get a full harvest off that whole field. You can even harvest it in sections. So you can even go two months in, harvest part of the field, uh, process that. Once you plant moringas from seed in a big field, you can literally get, if you're in Arizona or in a warm client climate, you get one harvest every month for about eight to 10 months out of the year. So it's definitely a, po a possible cash crop and it is gonna be growing uh, in popularity. So as moringa becomes more within people's consciousness, people are gonna be buying more of it. So I would suggest if you wanna do a moringa farm, do it. Just join the I Want More Moringa Facebook group and let me know how many you plant. So here we go, I'm just gonna start chopping them down and then we're gonna get a nice accurate count of how many moringas grew in here together. So right now I'm just gonna kinda of take them all the way down at the bottom and I cleaned out this bucket. So I'm gonna throw them in the bucket uh, and go from there. Some of these smaller ones I won't chop down because they didn't really mature big enough. We'll see if they grow during this 
time when they get a little more sun. That was a big one right here. So you can see where I topped this one, gave me two branches. So a lot more leaves on this one when you top them, when you pinch the tips. There it is. That's a whole bunch of Moringa. We're gonna see how many pounds this gets me and calculate that four by five bed over a whole field and see how much pounds of powder we're gonna be able to get in the first three months. So that's gonna be fun to see. This is now the bed. Been harvested once. I'm letting some of the little guys grow. I'll be able to take some of these leaves that are a little bit yellow and just use them as mulch. I'm gonna clean up all these trunks. new growth I'll be able to leave on. Old branches I'll take off. So this one kind of broke so I'll pop this one off. I have 154 moringas in here. I recounted. I even counted the small ones though. These guys down here. So you can see this little pocket. This is the one we've been following. The nice really super tight ones. And they're, they're doing pretty good. I mean there's definitely a couple that are thinner in here. Um, for the most part, they're really strong. This one's big too. So, these are gonna sprout up really nice here in the next few weeks. Next few months, they're gonna be huge again. And then back over here, you can finally see this little area. These are the ones that lasted over winter. And man, they got big. This is the ones that had some pods on it that I didn't notice till after I cut them off. Look at these two growing real close together. It's a real thick trunk on both of them. And this guy going, growing close. So close together doesn't, isn't terrible. I'm gonna be pulling these out and bare rooting them at the end of the season. We're gonna let another harvest come in. And now I'm gonna see how many pounds of Moringa leaves I got from this harvest. So we got all of these leaves, there's so many whole bunch leaves and branches and stems so now I'm gonna be pulling all those uh, the leaves off separating them from the stems we got some pretty big pods man I didn't even see these on there but oh these are perfectly ripe these are ones that are ready to eat oh yeah I'm gonna definitely cook these up these taste like asparagus when you cook them like this they're perfectly ripe so that's awesome So I have a little Moringa bucket from the monks down in Coolidge. Been using their Moringa until I could get my own. There's a monastery down in Coolidge called St. Anthony's and there's monks that have over 800 trees. They probably have more trees now, um, but they sell Moringa powder locally in Arizona at the farmer's market. So if you're ever in an Arizona farmer's market, buy some Moringa powder from St. Anthony's and I buy it in the the huge bucket but you just get it in the small containers so all I do here is I'm gonna take these ones I'm gonna put the ones that I'm not gonna eat into a, a pile on the side and then anything green I'm gonna put in the bucket and then all these sticks uh, I'm gonna put them in a pile down here too and I'm gonna do something special with those later. I'm gonna grind them up into fertilizer with my wood chipper. I harvest 150 moringas instead of only one moringa. So it's definitely better for harvests when you do intensive planting. Well, this is gonna take a while. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm gonna do next. Pinch the tip right here. And you can see these three branches grew up out of it. So it definitely gives you more branches when you pinch the tips.
right, so that's a decent amount of Moringa going up this bucket. And then all this stuff is gonna get put to good use and I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, so this is a nice amount of Moringa. I'm not sure how much it is fresh, but it's filling up this whole five gallon bucket and coming way over the top. So, so that was the from three months from seeds, 150 Moringas. Uh, much more harvest than just one tree after a little over three months. So um, definitely you get a lot more out of it when you do this way. And I'm going to get a second harvest, probably bigger than that, uh, at the end of this basically right before winter. 